Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, hey, I wanted to share some uh, videos uh, with you guys. I'm narrating as the um, as the video is scrolling, so if things seem a little out of sync, that's why. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get something out. I have a bunch of footage. Uh, and some of it's pretty interesting, or at least I think so. But anyway, I thought I'd put it out there and share it with uh, share it with y'all. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, facing west. I think this was just this past Saturday or Sunday. Um, it was pretty cloudy. Uh, what you'll see is you'll see a nice edge form uh, on the footage, and it's a, a, a white chemtrail. And uh, there's uh, there's an object that uh, illuminates pretty brightly uh, behind the uh, the chemtrail portion, right there where I'm circling right now with the uh, with the arrow is the place to watch. Uh, and it gets very bright uh, and circular. And again, this is prior to sunrise in the opposite skyline so this is west sun rises in the east so something very bright out there in the western skyline in the morning in the a.m. Um, so you could begin to see the um, the edge of that very well-defined uh, chemtrail very white it's beginning to become brighter We've got multi-layer clouds here clouds have been doing some weird things lately See, and you can see how bright it's getting. Again, this is before sunrise in the western sky. So what's ever behind that chemtrail there is pretty dang bright. It's not the moon. It's not the sun. Call it what you will. But there it is right there. Very bright. Very bright for, for, for that time of the morning to be blasting through those clouds like that. And so uh, I'm not in control of the cursor right now. I'm just kind of narrating along with uh, what's happening on the screen. Uh, this will probably play a couple times over. Uh, what I may end up doing is uh, just letting the, the, the full footage play out uh, just because uh, you don't want to hear me blather and talk on. Uh, the images are raw, unedited. They are what they are. Uh, you can make your, uh, your own conclusions. Uh, just be aware, again, that's facing west at, uh, just prior to sunrise. So it's, uh, again... It's not the moon, it's not the sun, it's something else, and it's very bright, and it's rather large. So, um, and it just kind of fades, uh, fades off, looks like it uh, leaves the uh, upper left of the, uh, the view there, and then uh, some thicker cl clouds come in. Actually, the scene reverts back to you know, what it should normally look like at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, in the western sky, it should never not be that bright. So that uh, that was something there. So right now I'm fast forwarding the uh, the imagery just to give you a better idea how fast that that thing uh, manifests and how bright. Right there is a pretty good shot. So per perfectly circular. Uh, again, that's some pretty thick uh, <clears throat> chem webbing they put down there. So and notice the perfect angle. Perfect angle just covers it up just perfectly. You know, if it was, it was a little bit south of that, you know, you would have had a full view of the object. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, as this footage goes on, again, I'm not going to commentate through the whole thing uh, because there's actually another movie I want to make, but I did want to get this one out there uh, because I thought it was, uh, you know, it was worth publishing. Uh, you'll, see, uh, you'll see some unidentified orbs and then towards the end, uh, there's, a, there's a big, big sphere in the uh, western sky just prior to sunrise uh, with quite a bit of, uh, you know, vortex activity around it. What I would just like to add for that is that it's a very, uh, it's a very big object. This is, this is a big swath of sky right now that, uh, that uh, we're covering here. Uh, it's, you know, a good portion of the western view. Actually, I think this camera might be a little tilted uh, north, probably west, a little northwest. So uh, there's one of the unexplained orbs that uh, just kind of came through. Uh, looks like uh, 8, 8 p.m. Uh, central. Um, who knows? It's hard to tell that uh, how close or far away that was. I'm going to assume that's pretty close. So that could be an orb, ghost, who knows. I mean, there's all kinds of weird stuff happening in these guys lately. I have so much unexplained footage, it would take me a year to go through it, I swear, literally. 
It's not an exaggeration. I mean, every night, these cameras, because they're running continuously, are catching something out there. You know, so. But uh, yeah, this the the big sphere. Uh, there's another orb, kind of arcs over the top, comes out. Then I, I think I move it backwards here. So. Uh, Pretty bright, though. pretty bright in the infrared. All all of this stuff is fairly bright in the infrared uh, spectrum. So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to cut out uh, the aud I'm going to cut out the uh, the audio right now and uh, just let the raw footage play. Uh, again, in, in towards the end, <clears throat> there's a a large sphere. I've seen I've caught it before uh, uh, with a lot of a uh, lot of vortex activity around it. It almost looks like a snowball effect. Uh, a lot of infrared activity. Uh, what I can say about that sphere is it is big. Whatever it is, it's it's taken up most of the frame. And again, this 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 view is uh, covering a good piece of uh, sky. So I think that's uh, coming up uh, shortly. You, you you have to look pretty closely. Again, this a lot of this is just prior to sunrise, and the sun's on the opposite side of the sky because this is facing west, slightly northwest. But uh, you know, if you need to pause it, uh, YouTube will allow you to do that, so you can kind of uh, you know slow down the the activity. But uh, I'm gonna check out, guys. I'm gonna be working on my uh, next video, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Over and out.